thought precedes motion. And if we have control over what we put into our attentional capacity, it programs the motion and the little white ball just follows behind. A very important concept is that all the games that we are creating are based in science. When we first started doing research on the brain in golf, we were looking for differences in the brain. We were looking to see what parts of the brain are most important for best performance and how we should use them. What we ended up with in terms of the data results is it is the synchronization of all the parts of the brain that's critical. If we built a game to test this state, could we prove that, in, in theory, that if you're playing this game, you're actually improving these mental skills? This is going to be a educational portal as well as, okay, I'm learning, now I want to play the games, the practical application, I want to see if I can take this education and these games and these skills to the golf course. You don't want to make the weakest club in your bag your mind, so we suggest you game your brain.